Let's uh, uh, Concordia. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank colleagues for uh, the beautiful tributes uh, that have been made. Um, John was so proud of this house, everything about it, um, and it is so nice to see uh, him mem remembered in such a, a warm way. Um, I'd like to thank you on behalf of Fanola, Matthew, Juliana, Emily, and of course my sister Mary, and I should say the next generation, Ophelia, Hugo, Oliver, and Robin, who are the apple of his eye, as they say, and buoyed him up, particularly during his lo long illness. Um, I think it was Kieran said, you know, how Ireland has changed since John entered politics. You go back to 1969, we had one million people employed, and now we have two and a half, 2.6 million. One in 20 probably got to third level, and now two in every three or more get to third level. Uh, we have transformed from being, you know, a narrow society, very inward looking, uh, almost reactionary, to one that is so much more open and you know, fulfilled in so many ways and inclusive of so many people of different views. Uh, and it has never been plain sailing, but I think Irish politics, of which this house is, is the exemplar, has a lot to be proud of, um, and we should reflect on that. John loved politics and he loved politicians. Um, and he, nothing he liked better than the company of politicians. And he was fortunate to have so many friends, not just in the, our party, but across parties, um, who you know, he enjoyed their company and he enjoyed working with them. As people have said, he had strong beliefs, but I think he did see politics as the art of resolving conflict ultimately. And that often requires you to understand the views of others. And as Brendan said, they might not always be on the same track, but he did find that way of finding the middle ground. He was a pioneer of reform of this house, and he would be very proud of how it has evolved. And he would be very thankful, and I'd like to thank on his behalf, the people who make this house happen, from the Dáil Bar, of course, which is an important part, but right through to the library and the, 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 all the services of the house. You know, they made his life and they have been so welcoming to him over so many years that he has used this house. He believed that the European Union was <clears throat> the greatest uh, creation in international collaboration that was ever made. That countries having a war together would come together voluntarily to try and achieve more together than they could on their own. Uh, and he saw it as a great opportunity for Ireland, but he didn't see it just in those ways. I suppose as someone who grew up in the shadow of World War II and with a great sense of history, he saw it as something to be built and he pushed his back into trying to build the European Union as well as you know, seeing how important it was to, for Irish destiny. He was, as people said, um, a man of a lot of ideas. Um, over one weekend, he wrote a plan for the nation. Uh, so he didn't lack ambition. <laughs> uh, and I, I had to sometimes uh, tidy these texts up. <laughs> but, you know, one of the, the, the abiding loves of John's life was learning. He was a voracious leader, re reader, a voracious appetite for new ideas, and he never lost that interest in the next thing that was coming up. Uh, it, my earliest uh, experience of his love of education was when he was given the task of teaching Mary and myself French uh, when we were quite small. But I don't know how successful his French teaching was. It was a time of um, French without tears uh, was the, uh, the, the high point of, of French learning. But both of us uh, still speak the language and have an abiding love of us. So he did, he did do a, a, a lot. And education was something that he was very proud of uh, to, to promote it. I suppose politics matters because it allows us to big things and little things that make people's lives better. And he always traveled under the slogan, you know, every person counts. I think he, he brought it into his, his uh, dealings with everyone. And I'd have to say that he has struggled himself um, over the past year and more. Uh, you know, those acts of kindness that he provided have been repaid a thousand times over by the care uh, and the su support that he has got from people here, people in hospitals, um, you know, people have been so nice and decent to him, uh, and particularly, you know, Fanola and family who cared for him so well over a long period. Uh, you know, 
just want to just acknowledge that. Great to see my our John's colleague, John Farley here, uh, who he soldiered with uh, over so many years. And I'd just like to thank you, Corla, the Count Corla, the Taoiseach, uh, and all members of the House for providing this time uh, to reflect on, on John's contribution. It will certainly buoy us up um, over these times, and it is greatly appreciated. Thanks. Er, 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 er